Okay, good morning everyone. Before we begin, so let's start a, a, a very small prayer. So everyone, can anyone volunteer for a prayer? Okay, yes. Okay, so let's start praying. Okay, thank you very much. So class, before we begin, um, can you pick all the pieces of papers uh, besides of your chairs and remove all the things besides or under your table? Okay, so now, everyone... <clears throat> Our lesson for today is about academic writing. So now, let, for our learning objectives is, number one, we're going to define what is the purpose of writing. So what is writing? Okay. Number two, we're going to define what is the academic writing style and states the perspective uses in the different documents. So what are the documents applied in academic writing? And number three, apply the three characteristics of academic writing. So we have three characteristics that we're going to discuss in our lesson. Okay. So before we move on to our discussion, let me ask you this one, everyone. So what is the purpose of writing? Can anyone guess? Okay, how about you? Okay, very good. How about you? Okay, very good. Okay, so let's check your answer. So the purpose of writing is, we have four purposes. Number one is to inform, two is to entertain, three is to explain, and number four is to persuade. Now, to define what is academic writing is, so, so uh, this is a writing process that is used by the students and professional in academic discipline. So academic writing is a deeper format in writing system. So the academic writing is used by the students in different institutions or enrolled in different institutions and also by the professional individual. Next, we have three types of academic writing. Number one, we have descriptive. This is the simplest form of academic writing. And descriptive type or uh, academic writing provides facts and information. Number two would be narrative. Narrative gives account or tells something about the related uh, topic in the academic writing. And the last one is persuasive. This is to induce readers to believe in something in writing opinion or views. Now, we have different documents that applies for use in academic writing. So we have six examples. If you go into search on the internet or other references, you're going or you will find different kinds of documents that is applied in academic writing. But number one, let me give you an example. Okay, number one. This is a very well-known, which is the research paper. Number two is an essay. So everyone, uh, I know everyone is very well-known in essay. So we have informal and formal uh, format. Number three, we have the scientific paper or scientific report. Number four, we have the academic journal. Number five, the deeper format of the research paper, which is the dissertation and the thesis format. And number six, we have the abstract paper or report. Now, let's talk about the characteristics of academic writing. Number one is effective diction. So remember, you need to have an effective diction if you are going to create an um, academic writing format. Okay. Number two is formality. Okay. Take note. You need to be formal. Academic writing is a professional format. So, because academic writing is used for professional and students in different institutions. So, the language that you're going to use is, anyone can guess? Very good. It's English. Because English is a medium of instruction. Third is impersonality. Next is the structure. Take note, we're going to discuss the structure or the basic structure of academic writing. Next is the objectivity. 
And the last one is the use of hedging. Now, let's talk about the structures or the basic structures that is used in academic writing. So, we have, or the structures of academic writing stands for IBC. Okay, take note. Okay, so I stands for introduction. B stands for body. C stands for conclusion. Okay, so remember again, what is the structure of um, academic writing? Very good. I, B, C. What is I? Very good. Introduction. What is B? Okay, very good. Body. How about C? Very good. Okay, conclusion. So now, because we are um, finished on our lesson uh, or discussing the paragraphs of our lesson, let's practice what we have learned in our discussion. So class, for our activity of the day, so get a one whole sheet of pad paper. Now, what kind of document we're going to do? We're going to create an essay. And the title of our activity is about a new normal life titled A World in a Pause. So we all know that our environment is affected in pandemic. So I hope you can get or um, I can read a very fruitful idea based on the new normal life, based on the COVID-19 restriction. Okay? And please take note, you need to follow what is the structure? IBC stands for Introduction, Body, and Conclusion. Okay, very good. Okay, well done, students. Okay, you apply all what you've learned in our lesson. The structure and the characteristics on how you're going to create an academic writing. So now, for the last lesson, okay, so for your assignment, okay, so find a news article or watch a video about COVID-19 restriction. Then, write a small statement on what you've rewatched or what you've read. So, you're going to search um, based on videos or a news article. Because on our next lesson, we're going to talk about the point of view. So now, let's review what we've learned. Okay. Question number one. What is the purpose of writing? Very good. We have four types of purpose. Okay. To entertain, to inform, to persuade. Okay. Next is... What is the basic structure of academic writing? Very good. What is um, IBC stands for? Yes. I stands for introduction. Very good. B stands for? Very good. Body. And how about you? What is C stands for? Conclusion. Very good. And what documents apply for academic writing? Can you give me an example? Okay, very good. Research paper. And how about you? Okay, essay. Very good. Who are involved or using the academic writing style? There are two people we are talking about this. Okay, how about at the back? Okay, very good. Students. And how about you? Okay, very good. Professional individual. Okay. So now, thank you very much students for listening. And I hope you applied what you've learned for what I uh, discussed for today. So see you tomorrow and thank you very much.